All right, so tonight I'm gonna do two pieces. The first one's a little bit long, but then the second one's a little bit shorter. Um, so this first piece I wrote for myself. Woo! Uh, um, so if it applies to you, great, and if not, then I hope you enjoy it. Uh, here goes. Leaving myself behind to find myself lost in marks and striving in my own strength to achieve what feels like the unachievable. You've carried me this far. It's always happened. I always get through it. You've always made a way. Where is my trust for the one who's carried me this far and never left me or left my faith ajar? You never leave me on unread and you don't ask me to stop talking. You don't interrupt. I feel like I get fed up with me Yet for you, I'm the only thing you see, a masterpiece in your eyes. How can I not see that I am your prized possession? Where is the faith that has brought me this far? I'm sinking again. Focused on the water and the waves rather than their maker, you take me farther and deeper. No more misconception of peace only being available at certain times. You bring the peace that will calm this overworking mind. My thoughts run wild to what isn't and what hasn't happened rather than focusing on this moment and what is, and who you are in this moment, the all-powerful God. Omnipotent, omnipresent, one word and the seas obey, the blind see, the paralyzed walk, the hurt healed. Sins forgiven, love upon love, grace upon grace, mercy upon mercy. In your eyes, I am not a disgrace. My mistakes don't make me. The shame and regret I feel, the sadness and loneliness you did not bring. You truly, truly are the one true king. Walking in faith, you will provide. I can't believe what little it took to knock me off my stride. My mind letting me down, telling me I don't got this and no one's around, but my God, you are with me in every moment. Heal me of this anxiousness, of my repeated unbelief and faithlessness. You say I am loved, you say I am free, even when I choose to let, go, let that go and condemn me. In the natural, it seems impossible. It's almost as if I let go of you and hang on to what I can see and what I believe I'll make it through, although the exact opposite is true. If I let go of me and hang on to you and what you have for me, your promises are true. Trust and believe the master is watching. He's ordering your steps and knows nothing can stop him. The devil knows and fears him. Why do you not revere him? And in that, trust and believe in him. The situation that has you shaking is meant for you to put your all into the faithing, not doubting or walking away, but marching towards what you fear, knowing that he is near. Keeping you through it all, walking with you, guiding you, holding your hand, coaching you. Are you listening to what he has to say and knowing he will never and has never gone away? He's not leaving you, he's seeing what you'll do with what he's already given you. So truly, why are you stressing? Has he not brought you through this before and has he not made you victorious and given you more? Is this the test that you need to pass and when you get there, even if you're last, will you have learned to handle this all with class? To know that when you walk across this, that stage and are handed the piece of paper stating your degree, that you glided through every sequence semester trusting in his grace and mercy. Giving him the stress and the overwhelm of each semester, walking through it in peace and faith, trusting in all his grace, do you see the blessing you are? Why have you not been that for yourself? You have encouragement for everyone else. Why are you leaving yourself behind once again? Self-love is not for the weak, it's for the strong. Those are your own words. Can you respect what you once wrote and forgive yourself for the hurt that you've caused committing the same old mistakes but realize you've changed? The progress you've made is not fake. It will get easier, but right now, while it's still hard to remind yourself to not only love yourself but be less hard on yourself, be okay in the moments you forget. And when you remember, apply some respect. Respect the woman you're becoming. Saying goodbye to the girl you once were is a part of the process. Stop holding on to the brokenness that has helped form who you are. Because she was you, but now she is not you. Parts of her are still in you, but healing will continue to come from saying your final goodbyes. You. This one's a lot shorter, um, and it's also untitled, as most of my pieces are. Here we go. 
Not all who wander are lost, not all who are lost wander. Sometimes you can be in the same place and not know where you are. Standing in place but lost beyond understanding, not knowing where to turn, having decided that you need to know exactly what to do and where to be in every moment. The need to know every step doesn't allow you to enjoy the journey, separating you from the enjoyment of the uncertainties of life. Lost but not forgotten, waiting to arrive without recognizing you've already made it. Not who you used to be, maybe not who you want to be, but be grateful for who you've become. This moment, this day, this version of yourself, you have time to grow. Delight in the adventure of discovering who you are, Wander and get lost, wonder and discover. Your current location doesn't determine your eventual destiny. In fact, it could be the very place you need to be. May those who are lost have the freedom to wander and find what they're looking for. And may those who feel lost and unable to wander give themselves the freedom to discover. New possibilities, find the new and the old, and don't let new become complacent. Dig deeper, soar higher, and wander farther. Thank you.